My beautiful Sagittarians, welcome to your weekly reading. We have quite a beautiful week, third week in August. As well, we do have a new moon in Leo in the midweek. So let's see loves. Or let's say in the beginning of the week, more likely. New moon in Leo. Feel more alive than ever. As you know, it's another fire energy as you are. For some of you, it might kick some great inspiration. Or you might feel very strongly motivated to do certain things that you probably didn't do till now. And again, no each and every one is very much different. Might do certain things, might do not. But let's see how this week is going by and what are those beautiful, valuable and predictable or unpredictable messages. For Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus, as always, keep an open mind. Chariot, where are you going, loves? Because for some of you, Sagis, it seems here that nothing can stop you. Fool, yes. It's just kind of like, look at this, two major arcana right away. Yeah, definitely nothing can stop you. If you are determined to go somewhere, you will go. Because it's kind of like, I, I, I stay enough. Four of Swords speaks off. It's kind of done with not doing nothing or done to wait or done do this, do that. Yeah. Done being confused. Done choosing certain things. There's something here that just kind of doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be correct, it doesn't need to be at the right time. Now is the time. Yeah, it seems so. For some of you, this could be about uh, work. Could be about a person, could be a situation here with this page of pentacles. Queen of Swords. Okay. There's something here about, yes, I gotta do it. I don't need to wait any longer. Let's see. Page of Swords. Yeah, it's kind of done looking around. If somebody here is looking for a job or a change of career or something here maybe maybe will come because there's something here like I was looking I was looking I was looking I was looking and now it's just done done looking Queen of Cups the Wheel of Fortune It's kind of like it's time to accept that looking doesn't make me move. It only worries me. Nine of Swords. Knight of Wands. Two of Swords. And Knight of Pentacles. So I see you this week interacting with quite a few people. All right, loves. Yes, every reading this week will be having a, probably a different spread or a different layout because whatever I'm guiding this week, I'm, I will go through it. But Spirit says, whatever here is given to you is definitely divine guided. Whatever movement here you have doesn't need to be perfect. You don't need necessary to know the the endings or anything like that but definitely here seeing the movement it's good chariot full wheel these are all movement cards and you don't need to see it clearly you don't need to see it clearly because for some of you whatever it's coming to you or whatever you're going you don't need to know or anticipate the results but you clearly know this is the right way nine of swords and two of swords makes the ten and then one 
the Ace of Swords together. It's like 11, but it's one at the end. So you will see clearly when you will be there or when you will get it through. Okay. Let me see. Because with the Queen of Swords here and underneath we have the Eight of Cups. We have Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, as above as below. You you will do now. The Nine of Swords clarify really quick here. We have the Knight of Swords. So we have three Knights already. Like for some of you it's just kind of like the only knight missing is knight of cups. That great offer or that's something you were looking for for quite a while or been waiting, let's say that. And it's something here like I'm not going to wait. I'm going to take take a leap of faith and go get it. Look at here. It's just kind of like never comes. But Spirit says don't make any sudden moves. See the things on a different way or from a different perspective. Yeah, look at this. King of Cups. It's like grow within this situation. Whatever it is, Nine of Cups. Tower. Yes. Because things will happen at the right moment, at the right time, for the right reason. For some of you, loves, this is a, an energy here definitely around work or your money. And you don't see the way it comes or the way it will reveal to you or how this will reveal to you. Three of Swords. It's a very Eight of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Four of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Like the universe will provide and will give you with this Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, your, your ways will be tested big enough. Two of Swords. Lovers. Ace of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles. So very mystical energy here. It's coming in. Look at here the Emperor. It's kind of you are in control of whatever here is given and offered to you. But the thing is you... It's like somebody here feels like, why gotta get be given whatever is given in a certain way when you want it in a different way? I'm I'm hearing a try out, but somebody here is just feeling like, why a try out when I have so this and this or. Why is a tryout when in the contract was not a tryout? There's some kind of a misunderstanding here. But I feel here, whatever here you are prepared, it's for bigger energy. Because look at this here. The eight, uh, eight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Like the universe tries to bring you something bigger much bigger than 
the new thing. So the try out, it's, it's necessary or it's mandatory. Why is this way or why given this way? Whew, page of Cups. Six of Pentacles. There's something here like if you can handle it. Page of Wands. Nine of Wands. And the death. If you can handle this big change that's gonna happen in your life. And underneath we have the judgment. That's why happening. With the judgment here really speaks of you will see when the time comes. Yeah, I feel here there's something here you want to take in your own hands. But the universe says, trust, I am here. Don't stress about. For some of you, you are so, so much in the energy of when it's coming, how it's coming. I'm done this. I don't know what else I should believe and so on, so on, so. It's kind of like... Let yourself be guided. Allow the guidance. Trust. Don't stress. Because things definitely will come for you. At the time of change. At the time when it's needed. Because anyway, this is coming. And for some of you, just taking the things in your own hands or your own matters, you actually are delaying the process. There's something here about don't get in the way, go with the way. We have a, a thing here that if there is flow, go with the flow. Don't get, go against the flow. What advice we got here for my Sagittarius? What advice? Three of Wands. Hope. Be hopeful. There is something here you manifest here. So hope down there. Keep your hopes high. King of Swords. Stay in your clarity or keep your plans up to date two of cups the new it's coming the new it's coming judgment it's kind of you will see when it will be here or you will recognize crystal clear underneath we have the moon Again, it's kind of like stay in your strength. Don't dwell in a fear. Because, you know, after the dark comes the light. Ten of Wands. Leave the burdens. It's like, it's, it's like you don't need, again, you don't need to see or you're not going to see how it will come to you. So be patient, patient. Okay, we have the next hermit and then we have the temperance. Look deeper and soothe your soul. All right, loves. Also here we do have two, three knights. We have King and Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Cups. Actually, we have three pages, four pages, all the pages. 
and the page speaks about messages coming in. For some of you, the universe sends you messages. So pay attention to those messages. The only knight here missing is the knight of cups. And I will look really quick in the deck where it is. But yeah, let's see. Where is the Knight of Cups? Okay, where are you? So the Knight of Cups is right here, darlings. Here it is. World. Then Seven of Swords. It's kind of like when you will start trusting the universe that's when it's coming seven of swords like don't do certain things here like you feel it's it's better or you know better than the universe kind of a thing high priestess it's kind of you know this is yours king of wands and justice because things will show up to you ace of swords For some of you, this is a contract that you are looking for, and it's coming, loves, but not the way you you demanding it, because I'm hearing demands, and not the the way or the the way you demand it's coming or will come. So let the universe bring you the right guidance or the right way to you. Advice from the Dennis Lee Sacred Traveler. Look at this, loves. Success expands in your life. Get of three of. Whatever it is here, don't push it through, loves. Let the universe bring you what needs to. Savor your life. Passion and pleasure. Some of you, even though it feels like it takes forever, something, but when it's coming, you will definitely enjoy it. Passion and pleasure is like living my life to the fullest, the way I always wanted, or how I always imagine it. Again, don't press. You know, like um, a wound to heal, you don't need to press it. You gotta put a bandage or you gotta heal it, but don't press it, just push it like, oh, this is done or not. So let the universe to bring the guidance needed to you. Because, yeah, definitely here, great success is on the way. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you for this week. Blessing, darlings. And I'll see you in another video. And thank you for showing or coming forward today. Namaste.